and what should be incorporated in your video resume or digital resume is of course your name if your name has any meaning you can very well utter if your name signifies anything i need i think you should be telling it along with your name so that there is some kind of a registration in introducing yourself because it's a first impression that you're trying to create second point to be incorporated is the journey of academics i think the journey of academics is where you have started from schooling to junior schooling a junior college to your senior college i think it's a beautiful journey that you have undergone so put it nicely now a lot of students these days have internship any kind of internship which has uh, given you some learning so the outcome of internship is most important so please project your internship that you are very close to you know being job ready and that's the reason you are making this video resume to go and knock the right door different projects that students make i think again highlight the project and again the outcome of the project most important is what you have done you have done but what is that you derive from what you what you have done is the most most important thing journey of academics might have given you a maturity evolving from a solitude to a team player to get discipline to uh, learning how to learn and you know evolve from mugging up to having a proper understanding to gradually working on the practice part of your academics and and then growing further internship would allow you to uh to think of how you have grown in terms of your planning organizing focusing resourcefulness and ultimately achieving result with the team projects are more of higher order skills where you are you know uh sourcing for funds maybe sourcing for avenues of where to do this project and maybe have a better uh problem solving and maybe uh decision making or maybe interpersonal skills exploiting it to the hilt and completing your project thereby you know that is what it should be uh, highlighted now you have studied in you know two or three different institute please also highlight what you have learned from your institute uh, your institute must have given you opportunities to shape your own personality in terms of a better communicator or a listener or maybe uh, you know getting uh, some unique qualities of mixing with people knowing them uh, not minding what kind of different personality traits exist and still be part of the team right and becoming very receptive also uh socializing skills and all so whatever that your institute might have given you as an opportunity uh, be it sports or any kind of a workshop or a seminar or a music performing art i think you need to essentially uh, put it subtly with your institute take away a very important aspect of your video resume should be your career objective what is that you are trying to achieve what is that you have as an objective or a goal set for yourself which is also called as a professional goal so you need to spell it out not more than two or three sentence but do it subtly and what if i ask you that you do an animation or make it make your digital resume or video resume more interactive if you can have a certain element of animation or transitions overlays with us you know light music play music being played on the background i think it will all augur well for your video resume so what is to be incorporated are is is the name journey of academics internship projects institute take away and career objective along with the animation that you can do possibly with the help of lot of apps which are available now will stand out will clearly stand out from the rest so if you're making seriously if you want your video resume to stand out from the others then i think please take a note here very very carefully
so what is the content part and how it is to be developed uh, i think clearly stated here in this particular slide of video resume or digital resume let's also now since it's a presentation so you need to plan your script so have your script very very subtle on all the five parameters that i've shown in my earlier slide prepare that with a lot of practice and then present so a uh, four piece of presentation exist here and persist here when you are recording your video resume right but see the unseen part and the unseen part is many a time we do not plan the script we try to be impromptu it is good but many do not have that kind of an art or a skill so plan your script prepare it practice it to the best and present it so while i give you uh, the background of plan prepare practice and present the four piece of presentation i would certainly stress upon record top 3 video resume of yours or digital resume of yours top 3 so you should essentially be recording the best 3 of of yours prioritize them as per your top 3 skill sets that means so every time when you are going for a recording the three best video resume should have three different skills of yours in case if you do not have then whatever that you have uh, you know shift it accordingly and make three best video resume and keep it prepared so that you send it accordingly matching to the specific job description that you receive So let's say if you are a mechanical engineer or even if you are an engineer of any domain or a science student or a commerce student or an arts or a medical student I think you need to have three different skill sets which you aspire to take up right and match it with the job description and keep it prepared send the one which is matching the job description send, send the one from the three which is matching the job description very specific to the recruiter and be prepared that you will receive a call for sure never miss on a physical resume as long as you are making a video resume attach the physical resume and have a great cover letter of three different paragraphs i think we have already discussed in one of our video of uh, when we have covered this cover letter very specific topic which is there in our uh, our channel right so have a great cover letter and talk very adjuvant Uh, very adjuvant to both meaning that your cover letter should be a separate communication or an add on or an adjuvant communication to your physical resume and video resume so whatever you have talked in your physical resume might get feature but it's more of a video resume that you are covering in your digital resume but what gets uncovered should be communicated in your cover letter so that your communication looks a comprehensive one and may be looked at 360 degree of what your profile looks like so everything comes as a comprehensive professional communication from your side with physical resume digital resume which you are doing it because now it is needed and a good cover note which becomes a body text part of your email and then you can attach these two and send it across so be your best always believe in yourself and be yourself is what i am trying to come to uh when i have reached my last slide i would only say is once you are you have known what is good for you i think you are good to go so once good to know about the video resume i think you are good to go shoot it physical resume video resume and a great cover letter which becomes a body part of your email everything accounted three good things and now since uh, the Uh, recruiters are welcoming digital resume you should make the best usage of it reach in time so that your entire exercise of finding your dream job is not that far away prepare yourself to the best and be in vogue in fashion with what the industry demand digital resume is one of them for sure best wishes thank you